Mission failure. What's up science team? Happy New Year. I hope you all had an awesome holiday. I'm super excited for 2019 as we have some awesome videos coming down the pipeline that I know you're going to love. In science, some things don't go as planned. Sometimes experiments turn out to be totally disastrous. This could mean objects just blow up in your face or things just never really quite pan out. So today I wanted to tell you about the times that our experiments did not work out. Either they were too dangerous or they just flat out failed. Now, many times we were still able to make videos out of these failed experiments, but other times we were not. So today, for the first time ever, I'm going to show you footage that we never released. Fail number one, exploding rockets in my face, for real. Satan number one priority. About a year ago, we were following a trend on YouTube and exploring liquid nitrogen rockets. The first place we saw this experiment was Grant Thompson's channel, The King of Random. The experiment is performed by putting liquid nitrogen in the top of a soda bottle. You then flip the bottle upside down and put your thumb over the top. And then in a split second, whoosh, it takes off. And now the reason this experiment works is because when you flip the bottle upside down, the liquid nitrogen goes to the bottom of the bottle, which is now the top because it's upside down, and the liquid nitrogen evaporates almost instantly. This creates pressure and pushes the soda out of the bottle, creating a mini rocket. So of course, our idea was to amp it up and go bigger, which started with a five gallon water jug, which worked almost perfectly. We even had some GoPro footage on the top of it. It just was awesome. And then we moved over to a plastic Coca-Cola shaped bottle that was about three feet tall. Now, I will admit, I was certainly skeptical of the strength of the bottle and not knowing what type of plastic we were dealing with certainly compounded my fears. I instinctively assumed the worst. So while testing this bottle, I wore a lab coat, heavy duty gloves, earplugs, and even a face mask. And well, let's see what happened. Oh, yeah. uh, come on. Oh. Got three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> it exploded it. It total mission failure. The bottle did exactly what the worst case scenario would have been literally explode right at face level, throwing plastic shrapnel right into my face. Now, as a good science guy does, I prepared accordingly, so I was not injured at all from this experiment. Although, it certainly scared the crap out of me because it really was loud, and I didn't expect it to explode exactly right at face level. Fail number two. Throwing objects from bridges can look like something else. About a year ago, we had one of our first videos hit a million views in a short amount of time. This video was titled, Throwing a Foam Glider Off of a Huge Mountain. I'll admit, this video was super awesome because our result was totally different than what we expected. After throwing the plane from the peak of a mountain, we thought it would gently glide down to the base of the mountain. But instead, it hit what is known as a thermal or hot air rising. This actually pushed our glider up in altitude, which led to about a five minute non-remote controlled flight, which I'm not sure if we'll ever be able to get that lucky ever again. So we thought of an idea for a video similar to this one by throwing a foam glider from a super tall object and then we were going to calculate where it would land using the glide ratio. The idea was that if we could calculate where it would land, we could catch it in mid-air before it ever touched the ground. Now, after looking at all of our options in Los Angeles, we decided on the Colorado Street Bridge. We read all of the park rules and found that throwing a foam glider from the bridge didn't technically break any of the rules because it's not considered a drone and we would pick it up later, meaning it wouldn't be considered litter either. So of course, we went for it. You know, it's always better to ask for forgiveness than permission. Now here are some never before released footage of us throwing the foam glider off of the bridge. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> oh no! So close, so close. The big problem here was that we couldn't figure out how to fully control the flight path as there was always a slight wind pushing the glider left or right from the bridge. The other big problem, while we were throwing the foam glider, it must have sparked a call from a bystander because within minutes of launching the glider, a swarm of police showed up on horse, by foot, and in patrol cars. We quietly packed up and left the scene never publishing the video. Fail number three. Don't shoot slime out of a potato launcher. Seriously. If you've been watching YouTube for at least two years, I'm sure you remember the summer of slime. This was the summer where every single video was all about slime. Some people even made huge YouTube channels just on how to make slime. We of course got in on this trend, but put our science spin on it. We wanted to see if it was possible to shoot slime out of a potato launcher and what type of slime would work best. Our experiment was originally set up to use regular slime, fluffy slime, and clear slime. The setup was very simple, and we were going to test all three and see what the result would be. What we really wanted to see was if the slime would splatter once it hit the board it was aimed at. However, things went wrong immediately. The regular slime was too goopy and sticky to even go into the barrel, so it didn't even make the cut to shoot once. Then the fluffy slime did something we would have never expected. Instead of splattering on the backboard, it did this. Three, two, one, slime. <laughs> didn't splatter at all. Finally, when we got to the clear slime, instead of shooting out of the barrel like the fluffy slime did, it did this instead. Clear slime. It just exploded it. Someone, someone, someone might call the cops on us. That was really loud. The result? was so loud that the neighbors came out and immediately asked us to leave. I will admit, it really did sound like a gunshot in the front yard. Now because our experiment was cut short due to essentially scaring the entire neighborhood that we were under attack, we couldn't get any real results from the clear slime. Thus, the experiment totally failed as we had no comparison data. However, we did learn that potato launchers are super loud if loaded with clear slime. Fail number four. Giant 30-foot blue flames inside of volcanoes are more dangerous than you think. About a year ago, I was watching National Geographic and I saw a place in Indonesia that had what appeared to be flowing blue lava. I could not believe my eyes. So immediately, I started looking this place up online. I found out it was called Kawa Ijen and it was located in East Java, Indonesia. I then convinced my best friend, Mike Petta, that we should venture 36 hours by plane, train, and boat to a remote volcano halfway across the planet to see this phenomena for ourselves. Mike's my best friend, so he said he was down. The quest to film this fantastic science event was epic to say the least. Now, one thing I wasn't 100% certain of was how dangerous this volcano and blue lava really was. Well, it turns out that the blue lava is actually caused by pure sulfur gas erupting into flames due to intense pressure and heat from the volcano. The result is an extremely toxic light show that will actually kill you if you breathe in too much of the sulfur dioxide fumes that it gives off. When we finally got to the lowest depth of the volcanic crater, it was so dark and disorienting that we failed to get a good video of our blue flame. Our guide at the time was juggling keeping Mike and I safe while still showing us what we wanted to see. After four hours of filming in pitch black darkness, 
I seem to have failed to get the money shot that I was looking for. Now, after a disappointing 36 hour journey back to Los Angeles, I started going through some of the footage. On day two of looking at our footage, I almost fainted in excitement and relief because lo and behold, there was a random clip that I had never seen before. Now, sometime in the darkest hours of the night, probably 3 a.m. ish, Mike had given his camera to our guide who bravely went right up onto the sulfur vents and filmed our money shot for us. Now, because of the language barrier, we never knew he got exactly what we wanted. So, in a way, this was a fail on our part, but in the end, it was a total success for the video. Fail number five, don't play with fire. If any kids are watching this, I'm serious, I'm for real, do not play with fire. With this experiment, we were looking to freeze butane with liquid nitrogen to see if we could make an object that would burn as a frozen solid. The experiment was actually super impressive because the way butane freezes is really strange and totally visually interesting. Now, here's where things went wrong. I had never ignited frozen butane before, so I didn't know exactly what to expect. The other thing I didn't predict is that once the frozen butane was burning, it would liquefy and then it would spread as a liquid, but on fire. We did have a fire extinguisher on set. However, we consider ourselves very lucky that nothing got out of hand. Lesson learned, do not play with fire, ever. Especially if you don't know how the object that you're burning is going to burn. We're gonna be making some amazing videos in 2019. We've been thinking a lot over break about how to make videos better. And we really want you to tell us. So let us know in the comment section below, what videos do you wanna see in 2019? What have been some of your favorite videos from 2018? Uh, we just really wanna know. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon.